Hello friends, welcome to iExam B. I'm Satakshi and I'm your English faculty at iExam B. And in this video, we will see what is a proper way to structure your essay. All right. So what to write in an essay. Uh, this will also be discussed. And we sometimes feel that the topic is so easy that the points will come naturally to us. And we will be able to structure them uh, while writing the exam uh, without any practice. But actually what happens is uh, practice does make us perfect. Right. So we have to see and we have to learn the way in which which we should present our points to make our essay look impressive all right so now this will be helpful for your nabad grade a b exam um, which is just from the corner so now let us start some of the basic points the overview that you must firstly understand the topic when i say this it means that when a topic is given to you say women empowerment and women safety and the other topic is given to you the role of government schemes in uh, ensuring women empowerment right so these two topics though both talk about women empowerment but this women empowerment needs to be analyzed from different perspectives right so you must understand the topic you must understand what needs to be written and what is expected from us in a particular essay all right and structure your essay this is the main part that we will talk about today right word limit it is a hard constraint in your essay writing in your descriptive english exams make sure that you do not exceed the word limit whatsoever right if you know you feel that you are not able conclude your essay within the given word limit then you can just take a leeway of say 5 to 10 words but not more than that in any case right now correct grammar and spellings one thing i always say when you will not write anything that's wrong then where will the examiner cut marks right you have to give something uh, to the examiner to cut marks right so correct grammar and spellings is one thing that will avoid your marks deduction right uh, nextly, number of paragraphs. What happens is generally in Nabad we get a 300 word essay. For this, uh, 3 to 4 paragraphs suffice, right? But students, uh, we check the papers and then we see that students have written uh, so many paragraphs of 2 to lines each. That does not make any sense. That makes your uh, essay look scattered and it shows that, you know, your thoughts are not clear while you're expressing uh, whatever you have to write in the essay right so make sure the number of paragraphs are limited to three to four that is if the word limit is uh, 300 if the word limit is given to be around 450 or so then you can go it uh, you know stretch these number of paragraphs to maximum five right not more than that okay now uh, then practice as i said practice will definitely help you uh, improve right so make sure that you're practicing writing essays uh, we will also share a list of important essay topics so uh, you can just gather some information from here and there and then try to uh, structure a proper essay on that right now suppose your topic is financial inclusion right so we know that these are the points that should be written under financial inclusion right but what happens is suppose you know we have to we are writing about financial inclusion and there is a point that we have to mention about the jandhan yojana so what students do it uh, some of the students i feel you know uh, i have seen the papers that they write uh, in our mocks uh, they write uh, okay the government has introduced jandhan yojana mudra yojana so and so yojana and so and so scheme an initiative then what about they did not write the aim with which these were established they did not write the benefit that these are giving to the citizens right something about the scheme needs to be mentioned right and also in on the contrast right on the other hand i see that there if someone is explaining about a students give four sentences five sentences for one scheme then how will you conclude your essay uh, you cannot write so much when you know you have to restrict yourself within 300 or so similar kind of word limit right so how do you uh, how to present a scheme in an essay writing that is also very important so if i'm talking about jandhan yojana suppose i have to write about it so i will write it like this jandhan yojana initiated with an objective of ensuring affordable financial services to all within its nine years of implementation has successfully banked over 40 crore beneficiaries. now with only 27 words i was able to tell the name of the scheme the objective with which it was initiated 
and uh, also the year of implementation when did it start approximately and uh, how many people has it benefited till now right so all this information only in 27 words right so make sure that you present your maximum ideas in fewer number of words right now uh, first thing that you must do while uh, after you select one essay topic is jotting down all the points that come to your mind so you will jot down all the points like this all right then what is the next step next step is that you will analyze that if these points you know that you have jotted down do they cover at least some of the aspects like political economical social technological environmental and legal so if these uh, aspects are being covered at least three of them so it is not actually possible it is not very easy to include all these uh, six aspects in an essay but at least the three of these would serve the purpose right so and it it is also possible that your economical and social aspects may overlap or your social and environmental aspects may overlap that is all okay right but you must the essence is that it is not that an essay has to contain only the schemes if you are writing only the schemes that will be only a politically analyzed uh, you know essay topic but you have to include all the other aspects also you have to include the economical aspects uh, how does it impact socially and things like these right so now once uh, our points are in place and we know that okay these points contain at least you know three of these aspects then we will move to our next step which is the moscow method of prioritization what is this this is that um, m stands for must s for should c for could and w for won't this means that we will we will mark these points you know which we have written we will mark them in order of prioritization that is if uh, the first point i'm sure that i must include it i'll write m then this is i should include though i will write s uh, i must include again i'll write m maybe that if my words are in hand i could include this point so okay c i will write against it right uh, this is again a must point say then a won't point this point is not required in my essay it is just out of the context right so i will not include this point right again i should include this could include this or must include this right and in this way you will have a structure where you will know that these are the points that i must write about these are the points that i should write about it will add value to my essay and these are the points that i could write if you know i'm falling short on word limit or if i have to fill certain gaps here and there then i can write these points right and in this way you will move forward and write your essay so this is all about structuring try doing this try this approach in your next essay writing and i'm sure that you will present a very intelligent and a, a well well framed essay if you use these techniques needs try this and do let me know in the comment section below how did your essay turn out this is all for the video friends do subscribe to our channel if you already haven't please press the bell icons to receive the updates of the videos we bring for you